Hi everyone, it's Toastmaster Kristen here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about your Basecamp profile. Last week we talked about your Toastmaster profile. How are they different? Stay tuned. We've logged in at toastmasters.org. I've told you guys all about the secret portal that you can enter through up here where it says welcome and your name. So we're gonna go ahead and enter through the secret portal. Now, last week when I talked about your Toastmaster profile, it was all right here. Today, we're gonna go to your Basecamp profile. All you need to do is go up here in the left hand corner where it says go to base camp choose which club you want to go in under if you have multiple clubs and hit go this takes you to your base camp landing page this is the landing page where you can go everywhere in base camp including all of your educationals, you can look at any feedback you've gotten, badges you've received. Those are all topics that we'll talk about in a future video. Right now, what we want to look at is your Basecamp profile. So we're going to go up here to the top right corner where you see your picture. If you hover over it, you see it says Universal Profile. And if you click on that, it takes you right here to your base camp profile. Now, whereas your Toastmaster profile told you everything about your time as a Toastmaster, your base camp profile is specific to pathways. And you'll see in here, it says how long I've been a member, what my credentials are, have I done the Pathways Mentor Program, which I have not found the time for that yet, and then you'll also see any support roles that you've done. Now, how do those get there? It's not by magic. You have to enter your support roles. And the way you do that is by clicking right up here on my account. This will open up your profile for edits. Here, you could change or delete your photo. You can choose a time zone. You can select what you want your signature to look like. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's pick something different. Let's try this one. And this is where you can put in dates that you performed a support role. It looks like I don't have a date in there for timer. I believe this meeting was the last time I was a timer. I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in and click save. Go back to my home page. The reason you wanna put your support roles in on your Basecamp profile is because there are some paths that require that you serve as an evaluator or as a table topics master, for instance, that's a good place for you to keep track of those roles so that in the future, you have a record to go back and look at. I hope you enjoyed this little visit into your Basecamp profile. Next week, we'll talk about some of these other features from your Basecamp landing page and how to get there. You don't want to miss it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Bye now.